Hey everybody, welcome to Mike and Law's channel and welcome to vlog number six. Today's quite a quiet morning because everything's pretty much on a massive uptrend. So I'm just waiting around for a good time to trade. I am ideally looking for dips and that is something that I will always mention. I'm always looking on a downtrending trade so I can buy into a trade at the low price. So that's what I'm waiting for. So while I'm doing that, I am going to set alerts as per my resistance levels, as per the lower Bollinger Band and the divergence. So that's what I'm going to do to help me identify what is potentially going to happen while I'm not sitting there watching charts all day long. So now we are in June of 2021. So, um, you know, I know from now till the end of the year, that gives us at least six months to push this. So I've really got to push it. So on days like this, it's a little bit annoying because I can't go in and make any money. But hey, you know, I always mention FOMO, so fear of missing out. Never fear of missing out on a trade because trades will come. It is best just to wait for the right time and to just go in and risk the moment and then the market dumps and then you've lost. So since it's not, you know, since there isn't a lot to trade, I'm going to show you guys what I'm going to be doing today or what I've done today so far. And then I will pretty much just share this information just to help you understand what happens behind the scenes. The first thing I've shown you is my watch list. So what I would normally do is I would jump onto the buddy coin crawler and um, the buddy coin crawler is a tool that I pay for through icon pro and I've mentioned this many times. So I'll jump onto the buddy coin crawler. And so from the buddy coin crawler list, so the two coins that I'm potentially ideally watching on my watch list and you've got them you can see how i set it up i always have bitcoin and ethereum as the top most of the times those are the two high, uh, highest volume coins and i always sit them there and they've always been that way for the last four years of me trading <clears throat> below them are the two coins that i am ideally waiting for the right time for me to go in and trade it because those are the coins that have a much more bigger percentage as the showing on the buddy coin crawler they are also coins that i trade regularly and i'm very familiar with so let's just say if i was to go into the buddy coin crawler and there was a coin like you can see wrx is on there wrx isn't a coin that is always in those top 10 high volume coins so um, ideally i'm a little cautious when it comes to that sort of thing when i'm trading a coin like wrx so as you can see, WRX has a much higher percentage compared to uh, Chainlink and Doge. But Chainlink and Doge have been high volume coins for months. WRX has just that appeared. Is some of the stuff that I look for when I decide what I'm trading. But as you can see on my watch list, I have got Doge and Chainlink. And then below that, I have got a list of other high volume coins, which I would have gotten from the Buddy Coin Crawler. Again, there is also a way to do this through just measuring from the lower Bollinger Band, preferably when there's a massive opening of the Bollinger Bands. So measuring from the lower Bollinger Band to the SMA, and that is what that average, well that is, that is literally what I'm looking for when I go and search on the Buddy Coin Crawler. In my watch list, and those are the coins that I'm gonna be watching today, I, ideally I would just jump onto the Buddy Coin Crawler every morning, look at the watch list, look at the coins, and I'll add and rearrange things as I can that will help me throughout the day. We are looking at the WRX charts right now in the five minute, and as you can see, you know, there's a bit of a downtrend on the candles. However, you know, before I will even decide on going into anything, I prefer a nice opening of that lower Bollinger Band and the top Bollinger Band. So until I start seeing that happen, then, you know, obviously it's going to raise alarm bells for me to go in and trade. You can see watching that WRX trade, can you see those red candles coming and those pushdowns are starting to happen? I like those. And ideally, this is what I'm going to watch and wait for. I will also look at the one hour charts so I can, you know, I look at the one hour, see what the one hour is doing. As you can see, the MACD on the one hour is literally heading down as well. Not on a massive downtrend, but the RSI is. One of the things that gives me a little bit of an indication of 
um, where it's down trending it's still above the SMA you've always got to consider resistances and the SMA is a resistant so those candles are still pretty much trending above the SMA so once it spikes through that SMA then that is meaning that this coin is going to majorly dump so now we've got the doge coin up and as you can see doge is on an uptrend on the five minute ideally you know if I had gone into this particular trade I would have gone in when it pretty much spiked that top Bollinger Band and um, you know ideally I would have ridden it to where I think is right and now, safe. You know, this is what Doge is doing it's an on massive uptrend look at that spread or that massive um, opening up between the signal and the MACD it looks beautiful and that RSI is still slowly going like this so you know ideally that Dogecoin is a nice trade if you would have already been in it. As it's squeezing, you can. I am going to look at the 15 minute chart. Can, what you can see on that 15 minute chart, that candle has already spiked the top Bollinger Band. Okay, so in this case, if you were already in that trade, ideally you would be working with resistances as you're going up to help you identify next price, price movements. Well, that's how I do it. That's how I've learned. That's how I learned through iPoint Pro. And that's how I master what I do each day to profit. And now we're going to look at the one hour. Check out that one hour. Very, very attractive. Again, though, it is so overbought. So again, that's the sort of stuff that you've got to consider when trading these trades that, um, you know, potential movement can come just as fast as it goes up. It can go just as fast coming down. Lastly, now we're going to look at link or chain link. So chain link is the other coin that I'm looking at. As you can see on the five minute, it's starting to downtrend. Um, you know, again, I'm waiting for the right time. But you know how I just showed you guys the Doge, how it uptrends like that, how it was uptrending. Well, you can see that Chainlink did the same thing, and now it's starting to go down. When you see on this five minute, once it spikes that SMA, then it's going to a lower price range, and you know it's some exciting times i actually like it when this happens because it means that the price is going to start going down and then ideally you know you're waiting for it to hit its lowest peak especially on a a dip near that lower bollinger band or below that lower bollinger band and then it's time to go in and make some money now we've come back to the wrx chart check out that dip and that can't that bollinger band is starting to open up sorry guys i keep looking at the charts right there behind me and i'm like getting excited <clears throat> but WRX is on a nice looking dip going right now. So, you know, this is really the times that I'm going to be pretty much watching a, a, a trade like this. WRX has high volume. It's got a really nice percentage spread from the low, the average to um, average low to SMA. You know, I think it was like 6%. So why not wait for the right time and then go in and trade it. But I would just share how um, things are going for me today. So it's the 2nd of June. Can you believe it? How fast this year is going? So I hope the information that I've shared today has been helpful. This is the sort of stuff that I look at on a day-to-day -day basis whenever I'm in, fr in front of the charts. Ideally, when I'm not there, you're going to use your Tab Trader app as your friend, your BFF. Uh, to help you pretty much give you alerts of certain movements that are happening on the exchange. And as you can see now, WRX has started to bring up that green candle. I'm going to expand that chart a bit and you can see the RSI is starting to turn. So normally what will happen is the RSI will go up and down, up and down like that. And that's when you'll see then see the red and the green candles come along. Um, but you know what ideally is a major point that you're going to be really focusing on is on, on that MACD. And that MACD is quite much of a space away from that signal line so even though though the RSI is going to be going like that and those candles are still going to be still going to be going green and red up and down up and down the MACD ideally is an indication to tell you you know once that turns and crosses over then this particular cycle has completed and hopefully you're in that trade and then it goes up and you make your profit I just thought I'll quickly jump on and share to you what my watch list is like today what I'm going to use and how I'm going to use that and pretty much just show you the three coins that are ideally my top three that I'm going to be uh, potentially looking at today and just show you what I'm looking at and um, just remember you know when in regards to Doge as you saw it was on a massive high uptrend ideally I would have already set an alert for where that lower Bollinger Band is already situated and then when that alert goes off or even so what, what I normally would do is I would have a alert set for the SMA, an alert set between the SMA 
and the lower Bollinger Band and then another alert set for the lower Bollinger Band. So when those alerts go off, then I know that Doge is on a massive downtrend or dipping. URX and Chainlink are sort of forming the same sort of way. Um, so I will just watch those as I can since it's already in the forms, but that's what I would normally do. So just remember use the little tools that you have in place. You know, like I say, the free ones, use those tools in place to help you execute daily. Let's take one more look at Chainlink. So Chainlink and Bitcoin, if you look at Bitcoin and then you change it to Chainlink, they're doing the same thing. Okay, so like I always say, at least 95% of the coins on the market are gonna trend the same way as Bitcoin. And as you can see, Chainlink is doing that. We'll see you guys on the next video. Take care and stay blessed. Hey everyone, welcome back again and thanks for stopping by. It is by. Friday 4th of June or June the 4th. Um, tonight we're actually going away for five days so I don't know how often I'm going to vlog. Um, maybe this is going to be the last part of the vlog or last part of the video for this particular vlog because I won't be back online again until next Wednesday. thought I'd just give you guys an update of um, literally what's happening, especially today. A lot of things are quite high. Um, but I wanted to just give you guys a quick show of my Binance Exchange. As you can see on the Binance Exchange, I've got Doge up. So Doge is what I have been trading. Um, I haven't traded a lot this week, even though my health is back to, to, back to normal, sort of. Um, I haven't traded a lot this week. I've just been so busy with Zooms um, and just with things at home, doing a lot of vlogs around, you know, besides our crypto trading vlog. You know, I still got to, anyway, we've just been busy. But you know, since 300, so since I started with $300, my balance is now up 437. It's not a lot because I haven't done much. But you can see that I've got an open order in Doge. I bought that on a massive uptrend like that, a dip. Um, <clears throat> and this is the consequences you'll get when you either risk in a certain trade or you're not concentrating. I was too busy doing this and doing that and doing this and doing that. Thought yeah I'll go into it because Doge was the top high volume coin at the time. But as you can see it is still in my open orders and it's been there now for about eight hours. So I'm going to leave it. But then that means that I have a less $110 to trade with in my entire balance. Now my balance is 437 once that Doge trade sells. So currently I've got about 327 to trade with, which is still good. And I can still make some good consistent trades with that when I trade. Now I'm just going to quickly show you Doge. So as you can see, Doge on the five minute is starting to dip. Ideally, like I say, I've said in many of my previous videos, ideally I like to have that Bollinger Band open up like a bubble and then I like the candles to really dip. And it is not doing that yet, but it is still heading into the direction that I like. You know, you look at the one hour and the one hour is pretty much showing you it's going to go down. The MACD is below the, the signal line, that RSI is heading down. And that candle has now gone through the SMA and it's now between the SMA and the lower Bollinger Band. Like I always do, I'm also going to look at the four hour. So the four hour MACD has also crossed over that signal line and heading down. Still waiting for it to open up more from the signal to the MACD, but the RSI is going down and so is the candle, but the candle is still quite above the SMA. So it's still within that price range on that four hour. And lastly, the one day. The one day MACD is over or crossed over the signal line heading up. Ideally, I would prefer, you know, when I look at this, I like it to, you know, even though it's just like that, I like it to go like this. And the RSI is heading down. So, you know, this just tells me when I'm trading Doge, just to be cautious because the one hour is going down, the four hour is going down. The... Uh, one day is, yeah, it's a, above the signal line, but, you know, the RSI is still heading down. Like, the MACD on the one day is the most reassuring thing for me. And um, it just, you know, looking at these different time frames will just help you identify what's happening within those different time frames. So that is it for just um, showing you what I'm potentially looking at when I'm trading a particular coin. And in this case, I'm trading Doge. So remember, you compare the coin that you're doing to Bitcoin or whichever coins you're watching on your watch list, you would compare those or pretty much look at Bitcoin too, just to compare the two. Are they forming or 
trending the same way and so forth just to help you identify what's happening because like i always say wherever bitcoin goes at least most of the coins are going to go that way as well thank you for stopping by and checking out vlog number six and just note we will be uploading videos every week crypto everyday life life as crypto traders um, but the vlog video will go up each week just giving you an update of where we are where we were to where we are today if you like this video make sure you give it a thumbs up and also click on the bell notification so you can receive notification of all our upcoming videos and we want to thank you all for those that are already subscribed to our channel but for those who have not please remember to subscribe to our channel as the support is much appreciated and until the next time we meet take care and stay blessed bye everybody Thank <music> you.